Open the exercise file or use the Costa Minimal Mesh prepared in Module 3. Since this is a fabrication-based exercise of a medium-sized geometry, we will redefine the model units to millimeters. Also, ensure that the model dimension is roughly 350 by 350 by 170 millimeters, as it appears on the screen. The first step in this grasshopper definition is the discretization of base mesh into strip clusters. The stripping process is executed using the kangaroo stripper function. This component works with quad meshes only. When we connect the mesh geometry into the stripper function, the output lists smaller meshes. If we color these meshes using the mesh color function, we see proper clustering of faces into strips, with each strip starting and ending at a naked edge. This is the ideal scenario, and to achieve this, we must ensure that the base mesh follows specific rules. The first rule is that the mesh should consist of only quad faces. The stripper function fails to give good results if the mesh has triangular faces. The second rule is that all internal vertices of the mesh should have even valence count. The valence of a mesh vertex is the number of faces coinciding with the vertex. Meshes with vertices having odd valence fail to produce full-length strips from naked edge to naked edge. For example, these two mesh geometries are similar in form but different in topology. The left one has a few odd valence vertices, and the right one has all even valence vertices. Because of this, the stripper function gives complete strips for the right geometry, whereas the strip for the geometry on the left is split randomly. In this exercise, the low poly model of Costa Minimal Surface has even number of valence on its internal vertices. And hence we get complete and organized strips. For warp weft fabrication strategy, we need strips in two directions. Let's isolate the first set of strips using the stripper function. Before connecting any mesh into the stripper function, it is necessary to pass it through mesh direction to sort the faces. Connect the base mesh to mesh direction component, and connect the resulting output to stripper component. Hover over the strip's output, and it has multiple smaller meshes. Bring mesh color component into the canvas to color each strip with a different color. Use the list length command to extract the number of strips and connect to the color wheel to get a list of RGB colors. Connect this list of colors into the colors input and graft it. Connect the mesh strips into the mesh input and graft it. Disable preview of every other component on the canvas, except mesh colors. Change the viewport to rendered setting. And strips can be identified with separate colors. For the sake of clarity, let's call this direction of strips, warp. Now we need the strips in the other direction or weft direction. For this, we must first offset the mesh by the thickness of the material used for fabrication. 
For this exercise, we are using PVC sheets of 0.5 mm thickness. Bring the Weaverbird mesh offset component into the canvas. Connect the base mesh into the mesh input. And set the distance value to 0.5. Ensure that the mesh offsets on the outside, and not towards the inside. Take this mesh, pass it through another mesh direction component, and then through the mesh turn component. Mesh turn function reorients the direction of each quad face by 90 degrees. This helps in retrieving the weft strips. Pass this turned mesh through kangaroo's stripper function. And we get a list of meshes in the weft direction. To confirm the direction, Copy the mesh color definition from the warp strips, and replace it with weft strips. We now have two lists of mesh strips, each with 48 strips. The remaining chapters of Module 4 is focused on rationalizing these strips for fabrication.